Welcome to the American Rambler here on the Bastion of Unfree Speech, better known as YouTube, with your host, Paul Grofton. Now, there is a viral video going around of a child ripping flag from somebody else's yard and tossing it as an adult goes on looking viral. I can tell you this, I've lived in many places and visited many places, and I'm going to tell you this. America is the better place. Here are some things maybe you might not know. If you live in Thailand and you step on their money, uh, you would go to jail because that is insulting to the king. If you go to Oman and you criticize their country, you will go to jail. If you go to China and you criticize the government, but of course, all of these American and Western socialists who have never experienced true socialism think they are wonderful. Do you realize only the 2,000 people within the, uh, within the party are allowed uh, to own the Western franchises, you don't have a say in uh, government votes, criticizing, or anything. And what about the Uyghur Muslims? What about the Christian? Oh, that's right, you don't care about Christians. Okay, so let's continue on with this article. A video of a child pulling an American flag from a person's front yard and throwing it on the ground has gone viral on social media. Yes, children are being raised to desecrate the flag. A Twitter user commented on the video, which has been viewed nearly one, mi one million times since being posted on Friday. The video has no audio and shows an unidentified young boy on a scooter with an adult woman on a bike riding down a residential street. The boy passes a small American flag in front of the yard and attempts to pull it from the ground. He misses on his first attempt, but gets off his scooter and then successfully rips the flag from the yard and throws it on the ground. Uh, that's interesting. Where is a father or where is an adult role, male role model on this? Once you teach a child to hate, there are many other things he can start learning to hate. He can even start learning to hate his own mother. He and the woman then resume riding down the street. It appears the woman gives no pushback on the boy for pulling the flag. Yep, evidently, uh, evidently no consequences because of false consequences. The video comes amid a nationwide heated debate on the implementation of critical race theory curriculum in the classroom around the country, which some parents and lawmakers argue teaches children to hate American exceptionalism. I, I disagree. It doesn't ha teach to hate American exceptionalism. It teaches to hate America. Look, it says a uh, pursuit of property, not pursuit of happiness. Okay? and we are taking away that right. The perception of the American flag as divisive symbol has also spread to mainstream culture. It should not be a divisive symbol. This is a symbol that everybody has fought for. Asians have fought for it, blacks have fought for it, whites have fought for this. White, everyone says that we can be better than ourselves. We are not born perfect, and neither was our nation. But the founders gave us abilities to improve with every generation. Unfortunately, we are now going backwards. The perception of the American flag... Okay, so here it says, When we black Americans see this flag, we know the person flying it is not safe to be around a July 4th Facebook post from Utah's BLM chapter reads, When we see this flag, we know the person flying it is a racist. No, 
I, I fly the flag and I'm darn proud of it and I will fly it. I, if you really want to know what true fascism looks like, go to the Philippines with Dorte. Or try living there under Marcos. You remember him? And how many uh, shoes did Imelda have? Try uh, living in Saudi Arabia where you would um, go to jail if you talk to a woman that you're not related to. And women, you would go to jail for not wearing your hijab. When we see this flag, we know that the person flying it lives in a different America than we do. Uh, I don't think so. I have many, many friends that love this country. Uh, when we question your intelligence, uh, same here, buddy. I question your intelligence. I question your ability to look at things objectively and critically. I look at your ability to go to others. Matter of fact, any socialist country uh, that you want to go to, I will give you a one-way ticket. You want to go to uh, North Korea? Be my guest. A New York Times editorial board members also said that once during a segment on MSNBC that she's to serve to see American flags during a trip on Long Island. A comment the New York Times defended. No, I am quite proud to see the American flag, but these days I'd probably fly it upside down. Hail Fuhrer Biden. I was on Long Island this weekend visiting a really dear friend, and I was really disturbed. I saw dozens and dozens of pickup trucks. Okay, well, I suggest you don't come down to Florida. And if you want to see a, mono, a white monoculture, Try going to the Ukraine or Poland or Hungary or Russia or China or even better, try South Korea. You want to see racism on steroids? Try that country. America is the freest nation on earth unless you live in California, Michigan, New York or New Jersey. Okay. or uh, Minnesota. I think I'm going to have to include that one now. Okay, don't forget to check the links below uh, for other for other videos.